It's Tina, Warthog Princess, and welcome to another lug haul. I'm really excited about this one, even though I uh, already know what's in the box. I mean, I mostly kind of know what's in the box. But uh, yes, this is a surprise box. I know everybody has already seen them and opened them and knows what's in them. But I was traveling. I was on a cruise when this finally arrived. And then I've been home, but running around like a mad woman for a few days. So I'm finally sitting down and I can't wait to open this with you all. Um, yeah, just to share. So if you haven't seen it already, yay, here it is. And uh, we'll talk about it in a moment. But first, before we get into this beautiful box, I do have two other items that um, I ordered separately. So here goes. The first item is the new Roadster backpack in the whimsy black pattern. Um, I just I really love the pattern it's my colors purple teal blue and pink like all kind of together and it's on a black background which I really love so bright pretty on a dark background um, this backpack is I would say medium size it is comparable to the hopper I don't have that here to show side by side um, and I should have dug out my other new backpack the summit but it's bigger obviously um, but anyway here it goes in all by itself no comparison right now there will be comparisons later when I get home and I have my collection at my disposal but for now we just get this beautiful bag um, so the front pocket here is a big pocket zips up and around so you can get down in there the interior is the love stripe pattern this pocket has um, an elastic cargo pocket in there it has two pen slips right next to it and then it has a key loop so you can clip things onto it but it's just a loop so it doesn't have a clip on there and that pocket I'm trying to see if it's RFID I don't think it is actually I can't find the little tag if it is but there you go so a nice pocket on the front you can put pouches it has a little gusset to it so a good finger and a half width and it has this lug cursive logo now that's like a new thing I'll just leave that plastic on there for now okay up top you have the bar for your charm bar it's like a rubber material and it has the little pop through so you can fit two I don't know maybe three but I think they're meant to fit two charms on there too bad they're not longer because I would put all four charms and spell out Xena <laughs> that's just me um, anyway I've got this other pocket here in the corner with a zipper, it is a fleece lined pocket. So you can use this for sunglasses or your cell phone. I have the 13 Pro Max and it fits well in there. In fact, it goes all the way down to right here. So there's a little extra height. If you have a bigger phone, it is wider and taller, It plenty of space. Then uh, you also could use that pocket for sunglasses, which I might actually do instead because on the back, there is a classic cell phone pocket that we're used to. It is wide also, let's see. So it's deep and wide. It's almost wide enough for two phones in here. Here's the, the excess space. So it is nice and big. So nice option, has that magnetic closure. The back of the bag while we're back here is padded and meshed. So that should be fairly breathable. Um, it's not quilted, but it is padded, so that, that's kind of nice against your body. Then the straps have the no-slip grip on the back side, and they are padded. They're not ergonomic, um, you know, they're not shaped or anything, but they have the nice metallic hardware, and they have that strap keeper loop on them as well. So there you go. As far as the fit, let's see, I haven't tried it yet, but I'm going to see, because I am a big girl. So big girls and small backpacks don't tend to work really well, but knowing lug, I had a feeling that this would be plenty, plenty big, and it is. And I like to have them loose. There's a little more adjustability here, but that fits really easily on. So that's great news. It has a top carry handle. That's just a seatbelt strap that's folded over and sewn. The sides have cargo pockets, both sides. So you have definitely big enough for a water bottle or an umbrella, whatever you like there. And it's elastic. It doesn't have the magnet, doesn't need it. But yeah, it's a fairly simple backpack. Then the main pocket is double zipper. The zipper goes all the way down to the top of the cargo pockets. Inside, got a couple things. Well, we've got the card. 
You've got the back, you have a large cargo pocket. And inside this cargo pocket, you also have this other little tab thing here. And it has two big slips in it. So you could put like some um, passports or you can put pens or notepad or little things like that. You could probably fit your cell phone in there if you wanted, although I'm not sure why you would want to. Um, yep, my cell phone fits perfectly in that. So you could do that. But yeah, and the front of it has the clear view pocket on the front cover. So very nice little bag, backpack for many functions. I think it's a perfect day trip bag, uh, small kids, uh, whatever. Yeah, I'm going to use the heck out of that for sure. Okay, now let's get not to the box yet. I have a second bag. So the trolley crossbody two. This is a great little bag. This is in Heather Indigo. So it is that fabric style feel to it. I really do like the Heathers. Um, it feels not quite as robust as some of the Heather fabric I've seen in the past, but it's quite nice. I really do like it. And Indigo is kind of that um, dark denim look. So for me, that's a sort of classic goes with everything kind of thing. Um, yeah, so this is a larger version of the trolley crossbody. I think that's great. I really love the original one. It's such a perfect, cute little size. But sometimes you just need to carry a little more. And that one is tiny but mighty, so I'm quite sure this will hold more than you would expect. Um, so let's dive right in. We've got the cell phone pocket right there. So that signature thing from Lug. It is a horizontal pocket, but it is very deep. So my phone goes in there, and, and my phone only comes up to like right there. And that's a big phone, so there you go. Um, this front pocket is double zipper opening. It, oh, there's another card. And it also comes with one of the lug compliment cards. Wherever you go, may your guardian angel watch over you. In the front, it has that built-in wallet. So it's got three card slots, three more, and then it has like a cash drawer opening behind it. So you can use that as a built-in wallet. And then you have a privacy zipper pocket on this side. And this pocket is RFID, so that is nice. And there's that signature lug logo now. Sorry if you're seeing the paint on my hands. I was painting trees on my property this morning, so I have paint all over my hands still. Yeah, I showered, but whatever. Anyway, <laughs> why am I painting trees, you might ask? Yeah, because it's 40 acres, and the borders, um, it's all forested. So it's all forest all around me. Um, on all sides and so when I bought the property six years ago I had it surveyed so that the property lines were all marked and I didn't want to lose track of that because I don't remember every single you know space so I just marked the trees and so if you're standing at one tree that has a white stripe around it you can look down the way and find the next white tree and you can kind of follow along it's sort of like a not an invisible fence, but just sort of lets you know where the borders of the property are. Yeah, which makes it really easy when you have projects going on. But yeah, so that's why I was painting trees. I was just kind of refreshing the paint on those border markings. But yeah, so on the ends there are pockets. There's zipper and it has this beautiful botanical inside. It's like um, tropical fog, but it's not tropical fog. It's different colors, but it's kind of like that that pattern with those ferns or whatever really lovely okay so two pockets on on the sides the back has a zipper pocket as well so you open that up and that is just a pocket but it is full length of the bag and full height so very very functional piece you probably could even fit a small tablet in there uh, I'm not sure but I think so and then the main compartment it is a double zipper no I lied it is not a double zipper but it has a removable adjustable strap and it is a nice wide strap. That's awesome. Inside has foam. <laughs> it has a key bungee with a clip on the end. It has on the front a clear view pocket. That's the whole front panel of the bag. And the back has two elastic slip pockets on the back wall. And that is it. So I'm going to put this back in here just for storage for now. And we'll move on to the box finally. Yay! Okay, so I know that this is um, 
sort of a retrospective from Log that they were doing a look back and a look forward, kind of a history of their thing. And an adventure through the years. Obviously, that has to do with a lot of their travels going between Texas and Canada. And they're huge Disney fans and they live in Florida now. All of that stuff, that's great. And I see, you know, hockey for Canada and boots for Texas and sort of ties it up. But I also see, like when I looked at this box, I thought, surely there's a Disney thing coming. There must be. Like, we've been dying for it, for Lug, and it hasn't happened. On that note, side note, Vera yesterday released another Disney pattern, so if you're interested in that, <laughs> go take a look. But anyways, um, yeah, so you have the choice between color or print, and I chose print, hoping maybe it was a Disney thing, but even so, I have a lot of solid color things, and I just thought I would go with the print. So, there we go. Um, on the side of the box, a love nut life for me, and do what you lug. That's kind of funny, very punny. Um, yeah, so let's open this up. All right. I've already cut the tape, but haven't actually opened the box. So here we go. Ah, there's a bunch of little things. Okay, it has the sparkly, glittery tissue. I really like that tissue. It's had a rough ride. <laughs> We've got the card and on the back has the coupons $50 off when you spend 100 25 off when you spend 75 and a free shipping code so that's nice let's get a little back from that this has the spoilers on it so we're not going to take a long long look at it but it has a picture of Amy with some of her workshop there and then the happy castle since day one, way back in 2005, Lug has been on the biggest adventure, and it's all been possible because of you. You're the reason we took our first trip from Dallas to Toronto and every trip since. So just like we pack our bags, we pack this box full of our old favorites, including the Puddle Jumper. Okay, that was a spoiler. <laughs> and a few travel favorites that started it all, which you can spot in the photo with Amy. Only this version has a special new and fresh twist. We hope what's inside inspires your next big adventure and reminds you that you've been such a big part of ours. And then it tells you on the bottom what's in the box. But let's not look at that, let's look at the box. So yay, we got all these items. Let's start with this big white one right in front. This is a Flutter SE in Dragonfly Multi. Now I am not a big fan of white. <laughs> I'm not, I just generally speaking on my bags because they get dirty and I don't want them to look bad, so anyways. That being said, this is a beautiful bag and it is a beautiful pattern. I have, I think, only a couple things in this pattern. Uh, a coin purse <laughs> and maybe like um, some clear view pouches that came as a set. So you, you got in the set, there's at least one that's the dragonfly multi. But it is very pretty with the, the pretty colors and the dragonflies. And it's a better look on the back without the quilting so you can see it. But this is a nice size bag. Um, beautiful crossbody or shoulder bag. The strap is not removable, but it is adjustable. And it has this extra loop on the side. So if you want to hang a bag charm, a hand sanitizer, whatever, you can do that on there. It has a cell phone pocket on the front. Very signature thing. It has two zipper pockets here. So it's got the upper one, which has a soft lined cargo pocket and two pen slots. And this pocket is not RFID. The one in front of it has a recessed zipper, so it's down in there. And this one is RFID. So the front pocket is just a pocket, but the front one is RFID. So you can put a wallet in there very easily. And it is a pretty big pocket, actually, so it should fit pretty well. It has the water bottle thing on the end. So you got that hide it, hide it hidden or hideable water bottle pocket and it has the magnetic closure so that just closes on itself there and only on one side on the back you have another zipper pocket that goes across the bag and it is just a big open pocket and here you can kind of see the interior colors obviously it's the same colors as all the dragonflies on the outside but it's a little flowers and the background color here is like a very faint kind of a minty green or a green blue color Zipper closure, inside we have, well we have the card of course, we have a privacy pocket on the back, 
I've got a key bungee with a clip on the side. And then on the opposite side, you have two elastic cargo pockets right there. So just a great size bag for bopping around. Here you can get a look at the base of it. So it is a little bit larger than you might think. I would call that a medium handbag for sure. So that is the Flutter SE in Dragonfly Multi. All right. Next up, so many things to choose from. All right, we've got the, the luggage tags. And this is a new pattern. Flamingo Multi, maybe? Flamingo, Flamingo Multi. But this is the uh, baggage claim bag tags. There's two of them. And this one has an upside down flamingo in the middle and then a little bit of cut off flamingos on it. But it's a blue with like teal botanicals and some like gray in there. And then the flamingos are pink and orange. This one, I got a better flamingo on it, kind of right in the middle. So you can more easily tell. It's got some nice quilting. It's a nice luggage tag. And they have elastic straps on them so you can put them on your bags. So that's nice. I do travel and I do love my luggage tags. It also has the baggage claim strap that goes with that. Now I have this um, baggage claim set in the Flamingo Black because I have a bunch of travel stuff in Flamingo Black. But this is beautiful. I mean, this you really can see the pattern much, much better. Look at the flamingos and the colors. So definitely stands out more on this fabrication than it does on the pattern there. Um, but that's cool. And it's a nice, robust nylon strap. So your baggage claim strap to go around your suitcase. Might actually use this. I'm not flying, but I am going on a road trip, so I might... I might actually use this um, to color up my black pedal jumper wheelie, just to give it a little flavor. Yeah. It also has a section of little straps, so you can hook that on the handle of your suitcase. So if your strap comes undone during the trip, then you won't lose the strap. So that is nice. But it is very, very large, so it'll go long ways around a suitcase, most suitcases also. All right, next thing is the Metro XL in Aloha Navy. I, again, I don't have a lot of Aloha Navy, not because I don't like it actually, but because it was mostly kind of retired by the time I discovered Lug. So I do have a few things, but not many. So this is really cool, but I love this little pouch. I do hope they come out and sell these in other patterns because I'm going to buy a whole lot of them. I, this is a great size pouch for a little miscellaneous pouch in any purse or bag. And yeah, you can clip it on the outside, you can clip your keys to it, you can use it as a grab and go wallet, wristlet kind of thing. It's great, it's a great size. It has this little loop on the end, so you could hook another um, ring on there and you could make it even just a little crossbody thing if you wanted. Totally could do that, I could see myself doing it. But it does have this loop and clip on the outside. It has a zipper. And you have a clear view on the back, so you can put your info on there, or you can put something else in there, or you can just use it as an ID. And then inside, well, that's still a good pouch, but it's just like a giant zip ID, really. And I, I like it a lot. It has a good amount of space to it, right this way. So, And it's just Hawaiian florals, so you got the little orange flowers with the green leaves and the blue with the like highlighted extra leaves on there. So it's pretty. And it kind of matches the flamingos, kind of I say, because that's a different blue than that. And it's orange versus orange and pink. So totally goes thematically, but not so much colors wise. All right, so many things to choose. Next up we have a heart charm. This one is the non-blingy heart. It just says personalize your bag. So yay, I can put that on any of my little bags. It's just a beautiful heart. I don't have that. I, I think I have a blingy heart, but. All right, next up we have the Tango SE in Flamingo Multi. This is that new Flamingo pattern with the colors. But the, but the Tango, I actually have a I think a couple of tangos for sure one in the flamingo black <laughs> so again my travel stuff just sticking with flamingos you have this 
Perfect Pocket out here is a great place to put your boarding passes. The interior pattern here is really cute too. It's hearts. Some are solid, some are just outlines. And then it has little lugs and it's all multicolored, so that's kind of cute. The Tango has an elastic strap on it and it is a double zipper. The thing I like about that is, like if you're like me, you like your bag, your wallets to open a certain direction. With this, you can just push the zippers that way and now it will open the way you want. So push it to either side. If you're one that likes it to open this way, push them that side. Um, so that's really cool. Um, in here, it is a really great travel wallet, whether you're an individual or whether you have multiple people traveling together, it's great. Here's another one of those cards. And so that's a little like rubber strap to snap over. There's one, two, three, four, five card slots. So keep your cards in there. Nothing's gonna fall out or shift around when your thing gets moved. You've got a zipper pocket here for the mesh. You've got a zipper pocket here for behind all of that. So it is a big, big zipper pocket. And then behind that, you have a slip as well. So you can't put thick things in there, but you certainly can. You can put coins, you can put different things. You've got a pen slot in the middle. You've got RFID protection on this, but you can put your passport in any one of these slips or you can put it behind here. Um, I generally will put my active boarding pass on the outside and then my other ones, if you have multiple legs of a trip or you have other papers for your trip, I put them in here. Like if I'm going on a cruise, I put my set sail pass in there, my passport and all that in there. So definitely a great travel wallet. Great even for a regular wallet, it's just quite large. So not my typical everyday kind of wallet. And if you don't want to use the elastic strap, you can just tuck it in and then zip that direction, but it works great. So let's look again at this Flamingos because here we'll actually get to see it a little bit better. I did get a good one right on the front, but I got a lot of choppy bits on the rest. These two are upside down. One's headless and one's mostly there. And on the back, you can see there's some upside down and some upright, but actually got good placement. And this is quilted too. Very nice. Yay. Okay. It looks like we're down to the last item in the box. And it is a puddle jumper. It is a puddle jumper LE, so limited edition, and it's in the Flamingo Multi. It is a really pretty pattern. All right, let's open this thing up. Oh, sometimes these bags just don't open. Okay. Yay, okay, so it is very pretty. I have a puddle jumper or two. I honestly haven't used them because I like the backpack option. <laughs> um, yeah, so I don't know. I, I like them. I think they're great, like perfect for a weekend trip, um, things like that. I just haven't taken any weekend trips lately. But anyway, so classic puddle jumper. You've got the pocket on pocket on the front with the big pocket down below. Let's see what the configuration is here. It is the soft lined cargo inside and it has two pen slots on the front wall sideways nice big pocket there and then you have just like on my puddle jumper wheelie there's a pocket in front this is perfect place to put my tablet actually is what I do or if you're traveling and you want your magazines puzzle books things like that quick access it's a big pocket for sure on the sides you have your cargo pockets and they're very large on this and they're beautifully quilted too. That's kind of cool. Uh, it doesn't have a magnet, but it's elastic so it pulls in. It has the plastic bottom, also has plastic feet on it. And on the back, you have several things. You've got a clear pocket here to slide in a, a card to put your ID if you want. You've got a zipper pocket here that is just this upper section. So not deep, but it is wide. And then below that you have your trolley strap. And below that you have this mesh area. So this is really cool because you can use it for your shoes, your dirty clothes, your, you can fit a um, trolley in there. It really goes very nicely. The only thing is, is if you put stuff in the bottom, it pushes up into the bag um, or takes up inside space. So it's a trade-off. The inside will go all the way down. See that if I have my hand inside, the interior can go all the way down and you can just use that for thin things. 
or you can put a trolley up in there or something else and it will just take that space. So it's shared space with the inside. I hope that makes sense. But I do like that you can utilize that space as part of the interior. It has a removable adjustable shoulder crossbody strap and it has these tote handles that have the no slip grip on the bottom. So if you wanna carry it like that, it will stay on your shoulder pretty well. And it is a nice big strap drop, which is great. Um, but I do tend to carry a heavy bag crossbody and it's big, so it will get heavy if you load it down. There's the card. Inside, you have a privacy pocket up top on the back. And then you have on the front side, a big cargo pocket. You have a key loop not a clip or anything but you got some place to hook your keys and yeah just look at the base of that bag it's it's a very large bag um, and you can just see inside you can see if you put something in the base that space can be used up or you can push it aside and use the whole interior as interior so all depends on how you use it but that's it for this one. That's the end of the lug haul and the end of the surprise box. And time to turn the AC back on because I'm sweating. Yeah, inside it's hot without the airflow. But hope you're doing great. I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.